Um, and today's announcements are, today's announcements are a reflection of that as well. So um, I will keep it brief and let Yael say a few words. Yeah, th thank you, Stephanie. Uh, just want to echo that. I think we're so excited about um, the potential we have here at the club and really looking at uh, moving things forward. We're extremely ambitious going into next year. And I think that is reflected in our two special guests who I'll turn it over to <laughs> momentarily. But just speaking briefly about um, Ali and Ashlyn, I think, you know, it's easy to look at uh, their bios as players and which are incredibly impressive and just who they are as people. I think um, for us as a club, the most important thing is that we are bringing people into our environment who are going to push the level both on and off the field. And that's something that we've talked about. How can we continue to build upon what we've done here that, um, you know, we ended the last, last season on a really high note. Um, for us as a club, but we still want to do better. We have more ambition. Um, how can we push it forward and continue to elevate that on many levels? And these are two athletes who will show up at training every day and push themselves to get better as well as the people around them. And so just welcoming them into this environment, I think, uh, is a statement about who we want to be as, as an organization and as a team. And so I'm really excited to have them here and mm -hmm. I'll, let, I'll let you guys hear from them. Thanks, you. Thank you. Well, do you want me to start? Yeah, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. Ashlyn Harris here. Um, so excited to be here. Um, what an honor to represent such incredible people and um, organization and team. So Ali and I are looking forward to this opportunity. And, um, you know, we're, we're excited to earn the respect of, mm -hmm. of the players and the fans and, and the staff. And we look forward to um, every day, you know, taking a step towards that and proving ourselves both on and off the field. So um, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here and for you guys to put so much trust in us and, and you know, what we bring to the table. There's um, no surprise in that. And we look forward to um, pushing this club to great things and continuing, you know, to win games and and hopefully compete for a championship because that's very important to both Ali and I. I, I don't know if there's much to say after that, um, <laughs> but I just want to echo what Ashlyn said and say thank you to the club and organization to Yale um, for believing in us and bringing us here um, and, and to bring us to be a part of, along to be a part of um, this team. And we are so excited, like Ash said, respect isn't given, it's earned. And so we look forward to, um, you know, putting in the work every single day um, in order to earn the respect of the club, the players, um, the coaching staff. So we are so thrilled to be here. We want to win an NWSL championship and we want to bring a winning mentality here um, or build off of what has already is already here. So we're so thrilled to be a part of this group and this team and coaching staff. We're, we're excited to learn as much as we can and we can continue to get better every day. Um, and, and our willingness to, to show up every day will definitely be there. And that's, you know, why we're wanting to join this team and, and be a part of this um, club moving forward. Okay, great. Um, as I think Ashlyn has already said, let's get this party uh, started here. Yes. Um, Juan Carlos, and if you could also just state your media outlet as well, that'd be helpful. Um, so Juan Carlos, you're up first. Uh, yeah, hi, uh, I'm a writer for Aries Sports Network. So first of all, welcome to the team. Glad to have uh, two great players. It's such a great background. And uh, my question is, you know, just how important was experience in your decision to coming into the club? And did uh, Carly Lloyd have like an influence in your decision by any chance? Thank you. Uh, well, Carly is a close dear friend of Ali and I, and she was texting us from the Maldives. And I said, girl, <laughs> stop worrying about soccer. Enjoy for one week, not thinking about the game. And she couldn't. So if that tells you anything about Carly, um, she told me she couldn't wait to get back and start working out because she felt gross. So, uh, yeah, you know, Carly had nothing but wonderful things to say about uh, the team mm -hmm. and about Scott. And um, yeah, I really value her opinion. And we have very similar um, personalities in terms of 
how bad we want to win. And I loved all the things that she had to say. And mm -hmm. she's a very, very um, honest person. And I value her opinion, uh, you know, a lot. Um, and she actually had nothing but incredible things to say about uh, playing here and representing this club. So um, it was a no brainer for us. Um, I keep joking and saying, hopefully she'll come out of retirement. That's like rumor on the street. Um, but on, in all seriousness, she had nothing but wonderful things to say about the club. And, you know, we look forward to experiencing that. Um, Jessica, do you have any Tonelli, I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, by the way. No, that's right, Jenna Tonelli, um, Jersey Sporting News. Uh, welcome to New York. I'm um, just wondering how, you know, you see your role here at the club, um, obviously from a, you know, getting on the field and winning mentality, but also from a mentorship mentality based on the amount of experience that you both bring to this team. Yeah, we obviously want to um, not only bring that winning mentality to the team um, or just I don't want to say it's not already here just to build on it more, but also bring uh, a certain type of leadership that I know both of us can bring, um, you know, demanding yet very supportive. I think um, I really enjoy helping out a lot of the younger players and, um, you know, more so like on field stuff and and um, being able to be that type of veteran player who they can come to for any questions or concerns, um, you know, just anything uh, about um, what my experiences have given me. Um, so the knowledge that I've gained through that, I always want to pass along because we both um, want to leave the game better than where we found it and help as many younger players as we can, because ultimately they then help you uh, to be successful on the field. So I think that it's really, really important that um, we create that winning mentality, but also, you know, demand a lot yet be very supportive um, and make sure that we're bringing in the type of leadership that um, can create um, not only individual success, but obviously team success. Thank you. Okay, uh, Sean McCaffrey. All right, thank you for taking the time out to do this. By your dress, obviously you're not used to the weather. Don't yeah. worry, it's colder. This is the only coat I own, yeah. I just bought it. I'll, I'll get you a fleece top kind of like this one. Yeah. Um, we've met you at a few appearances in New York, rabbit fan base for the both of you here in New York. What has the response from them been to your finally getting here to play and welcome home? Um, I'll start. Uh, I, you know, I, um, I have tough shoes to fill. I mean, let's just talk about that. Um, I look forward to earning the respect of these fans um, by putting in really good performances. And that's really important to me. You know, I'm here to help the success of the team. Um, I put the badge before myself and um, yeah, you know, that, that's never a thing of replacing anyone um, and what they've created here in the past. Uh, we want to celebrate that. I think it's important. Um, and with that said, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough environment to gain the respect of people here. And, and I look forward to the challenge. I think it's earned, just like Ali said, nothing is given. And what I've, I've learned a lot about the NWSL is these people have, you know, their favorites and their, they, they love, their teams. And, um, it's interesting when you make this switch, it's like, you, you have to earn that love from the people and it's putting the work in and it's being in the com community and being involved and being not only a good teammate, but someone who invest in the community and the people. And, um, that's something Ali and I take a lot of pride in. Um, so we look forward to meeting everyone on a personal level and getting to know them and, um, you know, having the best environment for our daughter Sloan, mm -hmm. because that is very, very important to us. So I hope the city takes to us and I hope they're looking forward to being our second family and adopting us because um, we will give them everything, all of us. And that is something that we're known for. Great, um, Steph from The Athletic. Thanks, uh, Steph Young from The Athletic. Uh, this is a question for Yael and Stephanie, but you know, Allie Nashman, please feel free to chime in. Um, Yael, the, with the trades, you know, trading Brandon Pinto, first round draft pick, bringing in two proven known quantities, you know, people who are known as locker room leaders. 
is this a statement of intention about, you know, a win now mentality this season, as opposed to like, we're going to take some time and rebuild, or is it just, you saw two talented players available and you went for it? I think it's a good question. I, I think um, at this club and anywhere to create a, a successful culture, it needs to be a balance of, of a number of things. And looking here, we have a very um, young, hungry group in general. We have a lot of players who are on the verge of breaking in uh, to the national team. And that's kind of been the culture of this group. It's a very gritty group who desires to improve every day. So in looking at you know where we take this this upcoming year and in the future, I think uh, we have high aspirations. We want to win the NWSL championship. Uh, whether that happens this upcoming year or it takes us a couple of years, I think we understand it's a building process. Um, and it's going to be a balance of um, bringing the right people into the environment. And you know, I think um, you can look at where people are in their career. And these are two players who are clearly um, have played a lot of places, have had a lot of experience, but are still, uh, I think they share that feeling of hunger. And that's really important. I think we, every player in this group, whether it's going to be a rookie coming in, um, somebody who's been here for a few years, or, or some of our more veteran players share that hunger and desire to get better every single day and to push where we are now to be better. So for me, it's less so about looking at where people are in their career and more so that we have this shared mentality. And I would say that's on the field and um, and off the field and everything we do is, you know, we are never satisfied. So um, in, in looking at Ali and Ashton in particular and who they are, I think they share that mentality and will be a great fit to push forward, you know, what we're already doing, I think, every single day. Great. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, Meg, also from The Athletic. Hey, Meg Linehan. Um, hey. Ali and Ashton. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> uh, I wanted to almost kind of flip it and ask you about, obviously, it's early days into your time with Gotham, but uh, Yael is kind of a, a rare person right at the moment who has actually played in this league and is now in a leadership position that obviously does have a lot of impact on players. And I was just hoping that, you know, maybe you could speak through your experiences so far and having uh, a former player and someone that, you know, kind of in that leadership role. Yeah. And, and I think that's a major thing you're hitting on there, Meg. Um, that's what attracted us so much here mm. is the, you know, I said this in my statement, the way um, she communicates her transparency, she understands both sides of it. She understands um, how to make players feel good about going somewhere and feeling wanted and needed. I think that's an important thing as a player. And, um, you know, she gets it. She gets both sides of, of the equation here. And I think that is rare. I think that's rare to find. And she's so professional. Um, you know, she, she, she knows what is needed and, and she's willing to do whatever it takes to get there. And I love that about her. Um, so that was what was so attractive in, in coming here is someone who actually gets it. Um, I trust that she will build out this team, the staff, uh, and do incredible things in the game. Um, I mean, she's always, she's always been doing everything behind the scenes and now it's so great for her to be a face um, because she has great, you know, she has a great insight of everything on all sides mm -hmm. uh, of the pitch. So uh, we're lucky to have her and she's a big part of why we decided to come here and yeah, the communication and, and the way everyone has handled, you know, us coming to New York and New Jersey has been top class and we just can't wait to get started. I think it's great too. Um, we played with Yaya and, um, at the highest level with, with the national team and we kind of share that same winning mentality. And um, like Ashlyn said, she, she knows exactly what the players need and um, what the players wants are and how you're going to keep your players happy and what that takes. And I think that is such an advantage in the position that she's in to have that power of, of um, helping the players get better every day, both on and off the field and, you know, providing those resources that players need in order to continue to want to be here and want to be a part of a club. And I think that that is something that Ash and I immediately said, well, yeah, um, it's a no brainer for us to, you know, um, be a part of something that, you know, she is doing her best to create such a successful environment. And we want to be a part of that. And I think, um, you know, towards the end of our careers, we want 
to be so happy. And, um, and I think she's providing that already just within the couple of weeks that we've been in um, discussions with her. So this is going to be such an exciting um, opportunity for us. And we know we're in such good hands. And um, we obviously know, just like Ash, Ash said, with her communication and transparency, we can go to her for anything. And that's something that a player um, really appreciates um, because they know that, you know, she will take care and, and um, yeah, try to provide everything she can for us to be successful. Thanks to you both. Uh, Alex. Hey there, um, Alex Azzi with NBC Sports and On Her Turf. Um, I imagine that ahead of something like an expansion draft, it's probably really stressful to make sure that you as players and also you as a family um, are, are going to end up in a place where you're a together in the same geographic location, but also in a place where you're able to excel on the field. Curious if you can just kind of give a behind the scenes sense of what the emotions have been like in this process. Um, and if there are also any things that you'd like to see changed going forward from a player's standpoint in terms of making sure that people are in the best environment for them. Well, I mean, this is a business, mm -hmm. you know, like this is a business and, and that's like, that's the thing everyone needs to understand. Um, and we, we get it, like we get it more than anyone. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I, I have, I just wanna show up and do my job and whatever happens and, you know, I, I'm a player that can only control, I can only control the controllable. So all the other things and all the noise that like, that's not my job. Like I, I'm showing up here to be a great goalkeeper and a, a great person and great for the community. And whatever happens outside of that, <laughs> that's why we have you L. But um, no, I, I can't focus on all of the things that are going on that we can't control. Mm. I think that's just not how we are as humans. And I think it leads to crazy dark places and anxiety and stress that like I, I have to focus every day on doing my job and being a good wife and mother. And that's like my priority. Um, what happens, you know, I can't control, but we always try to make, you know, the right decision for our family. Mm -hmm. And that always comes first and whatever happens in the process, we, um, we adapt. I mean, that's life. Okay, great. Uh, Jonathan Tannenwald. Thanks. It's Jonathan Tannenwald from the Philadelphia Inquirer. I think Allie hasn't forgotten what it's like to live in cold weather, even though it might have been <laughs> no. a little while. Yeah. Um, I, one, one for the two players and then one fight for Yael, but one for the players. You sort of alluded to it here and there a little bit in this, but if you could maybe expand a little more on why now was the right time to go somewhere else from Orlando after being there for, for so long and so foundational to what happened with Pride. Thanks. I think for us, um, we want to be in an environment um, that has, you know, uh, like-minded individuals and that we know we're going to be taken care of and that we feel valued and appreciated for what we bring every day. And I think that we also ultimately want to win an NWSL championship. And um, we know that being in this type of environment for us um, towards the end of our career um, and in this type of change um, is, could be super healthy for us and, and really positive. And I think we're just really excited for that change and the new experience. And um, we're really thrilled so far with how um, the club, the officials and the coaching staff have, you know, put trust in us um, and, and have shown, shown that since uh, we've been in talks. So it's just uh, nice to have that feeling as a player to be able to go out and just do your job and do it really well and not have to worry about anything else. Um, and that's why I feel like we are excited to be here. And also, yeah, yeah, I wanted both of us. So <laughs> that was also a plus. Um, no, we're just super grateful for this opportunity. And, um, you know, I know change sometimes can be really scary. And, um, you know, there's this type of unknown fear uh, of what, you know, is going to happen in the future. But I think we are taking this like head on and we are so excited for this challenge. Um, and I think it's going to spark um, a, a definite uh, excitement to our game. 
and thrill for us that I don't think um, maybe we've felt for, for a little bit now. So this is going to be a really happy time for us and for our family. And ultimately for Sloan to be around more badass women um, who she can see, um, you know, do their job and, and, and what they love and, and that they're all passionate about just as much as, as we are at, at home. So we're excited to kind of put her also in an environment where she can thrive um, and soak it all in. Um, and, and yeah, we're just ready for uh, something exciting and new. And, and Yael, between all, you know, trades, retirements, the foreign players with loans ending and all such so forth that has happened already, and the expansion draft coming on top of that. Uh, what else is on the off-season shopping list for you at this point? Thanks. <laughs> Shop. I don't know if I would say shopping list as a, as a word I'd use, but yeah, you know, it, it's really interesting. This is my first time doing this, obviously. And um, I think in our approach here, I always will have a player's mindset. I'm a soccer player first and foremost. So any other role I take on, it comes as a layer on top of that. So for me, um, I think it's about, us working to maintain the balance of making sure that players feel that they are where they need to be career-wise, whether that means coming to our club or leaving it. Um, but at the same time, looking out to both keep what we have here intact. That's really good. We have a really, really positive feeling surrounding our team here. So doing everything possible to maintain that while elevating it at the same time. So these are all really complicated balances and it's something um, that I'm working with Stephanie, she has taught me a lot on, but about navigating, um, navigating this time to make sure that we maintain that balance. And um, like I said, you know, that there will be, there will be moving pieces that evolve. We don't have a, some kind of master plan we're executing on. A lot of it has to do with conversations as they come up and truly understanding um, what is best for players in their career right now, if that is to be here, if that's to be elsewhere. And then based on that, to try to put together the absolute best and most elite group that we can um, have to move us forward next year. Thanks as always. Uh, Howard. Thank you all for your time. Howard Magdal with Forbes. Um, I have Yale one for you and Stephanie one for you. Uh, Yale, first, first of all, congratulations on uh, the removal of the interim tag. Um, what Ashlyn mentioned about this being a business, obviously, these are two players who are beyond reproach in terms of what they bring to you on the field, but you know this area particularly well as, as a native uh, of Montclair. And I'm wondering how much you think off the field, their intensity dovetails with the way in which fans in this area tend to uh, attach themselves to players here. Yeah. You know, we actually had a, a conversation as an organization um, kind of looking uh, the other day at, you know, who are we as a club moving forward? And we, we talked about this area of the country and how who we are on the field can mesh with uh, the communities that we represent off the field. And I think when, when I think about this area, I can't speak highly enough. Anyone who knows me knows how much I talk about the New Jersey, New York uh, soccer culture in particular. I talk about it all the time. I love it. I've played all over the world as a player. And for me, there's something so special here about the soccer culture, both the players who come from here, the fan base and everything about the culture. And I think a couple of things that really stick out to me are not just um, the diversity of the area and that people live here from all over the world, but also the appreciation of excellence. And so as we put together our team, you know, these are, these are two additions to our team who really embody excellence, not just in what they've already done, but in what they're striving to do. And there is a huge appreciation in this part of the country in particular for excellence and also the grit and passion necessary to strive for it. And so I think as we look towards, um, you know, how we continue to evolve our team, it's about setting our players up as as the heroes they are to be examples of those things in the community and people that um, our fan base can really get behind and be excited to watch, not just when the results go well, but because they know the amount of effort and grit and fortitude that's gone into uh, produ producing the performance on the field. And thank you. And, and Stephanie, just you know, to that end and sort of jumping off of that point, how, how does this change the trajectory for the way in which this team builds, sells on the business side as well. I mean, how, how much easier does that job get having to be able to 
uh, essentially build a promotional plan around a, a couple of, for lack of a better phrase, you know, rock stars in the area. <laughs> yeah, it's something we're really, really excited about. Um, I think, you know, the, this team is not a stranger to having high profile players um, that we can have out in the community and that we can build the business side around, um, but adding to it and um, depth of that realm definitely um, helped. So we're excited about it. Um, we're looking and, and uh, hoping to build and accelerate the Gotham brand as much on as off the field. Um, so this lends to that, these types of signings, as well as their willingness to be a part of it. Um, you've heard them mentioned several times there. It's about the community um, and them knowing that and being willing to partake in that is, is a huge piece as well. And we're, we're thankful that they're willing to do that also. Thank you all. Great. Um, we have time for one more question. So uh, Jackie, and then we'll wrap up. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Jackie here with Women Kick Balls. Um, this question is for Ali and Ash. And, you know, all these Instagram posts um, from the two of you and from Sid kind of have people in the fields right now. And so just with this like bittersweet transition, I was just wondering if you can both just talk about the lessons that you're going to take away from your teammates at the Pride and just how you hope to use that to shape the team here. Thanks. Yeah, I think we're um, we're grateful for, you know, what we've experienced at the Pride mm -hmm. and um, you know, we are, you know, so lucky to have such ing incredible people like in our lives that soccer has brought, um, at our doorstep, mm -hmm. especially, you know, the people like Sydney, the Sydney LaRue's of the world and having our kids together. And, you know, those things are, you know, hard to walk away from, but, you know, what a great opportunity for both of us to start a new chapter and, you know, create new friendships and relationships with people here and, you know, for our child to see more diversity and see more people like us, um, you know, all those things. It's, it's funny, you know, you, you guys think so much about soccer and when you have a child, so much changes mm -hmm. and you start thinking about all the things besides it, uh, what schools, you know, your child will, will grow up in, um, you know, what type mm -hmm. of, yeah, environment, mm -hmm. are, are we safe as a family? Are we a part of a community that's, and there's values in, in inclusive, being inclusive and, you know, what are the political views here? Um, so I think all of those things are very much so what Ali and I really shift towards. And, you know, it was kind of a no brainer to just, you know, really focus on what's next for the family. And, and that's being here. And, you know, we will always have Orlando. We will always have the friendships. We will always have the people. Uh, my, and our family is there. Um, that won't change. Uh, but yeah, the, the focus now isn't necessarily so much on that side of things. It's, you know, getting a fresh start, having our family, you know, really feel like we're in a good, safe space mm -hmm. to thrive in. And, you know, that's kind of where we're looking. We're, we're just looking forward. We're looking forward to a breath of fresh air. I don't know if I can top that too much, but um, all I'll say is that we've learned so much playing in this league um, and uh, the past five, six seasons for Orlando. And we're so grateful for that time and, and what we've learned um, and what we're gonna take with us. And like Ash said, those friendships and those teammates um, will always share those memories and laughs and um, the hard work that we put in to make that culture better and better every year. So we are so grateful for that, but that just um, propels us to now where we are here in New Jersey, New York and um, playing for Gotham. So we're taking all of those experiences, all of that knowledge, um, the ups, the downs, uh, the fights and the adversity um, that we've overcome. And now we're kind of bundling it all up in um, somewhat of a controlled um, way and, and gonna just use it out um, on the field and then within the community, um, you know, just get involved as much as possible, but we're grateful for all of those experiences. And now we can start this new chapter and, and somewhat of a fresh start. And like I said before, get really excited um, to be a part of a new team, um, a new culture and uh, a new winning mentality. And I think that's something that we've wanted um, for a little bit now and what we strive for. Um, 
it's funny, Ash and I always talk about this because we're so competitive. Um, you know, we're always playing more, we're always um, fighting for more and and playing for more and and trying to get better every day. Always assuming that someone's like you know fitter, faster, stronger, all the things. So um, we're kind of taking all of that and putting it into this new experience, this new chapter, and really enjoying it um, with each other, both on and off the field. Great. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, that's that's going to be a wrap for us today. So I appreciate everyone taking the time today. Um, thank you to uh, Stephanie, Yael, Ali, and Ashlyn. Um, and have a good day. Great. Thanks, thank everyone. You. Thank you.